What's up? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Live from the Fame War Room. Mm -hmm. Let me put the music down yeah, a little bit. So what's going on? So great weekend. Uh, first of all, congratulations to a Fame graduate, Al Naz Gurra. Oh yeah. My man. She graduated. Uh, she's from Iran. One of the uh, one of the biggest models, makeup artists in Iran. Uh, lives in Dubai. Uh, she just done the Fame by Shiraz masterclass. Done a consulting call with her. Blew me away. Wow. Blew me away to the point I said, okay, she's got, we'll go through the points that, that blew me away, but um, I decided uh, after she did the masterclass, um, uh, I checked her out in detail what she was doing, coached her a little bit for like an hour and a half, and I said, she needs to be coming into, into the family, the Faye yeah. by Shiraz family, man. I want to start doing work with her now in Hollywood, uh, in the US market, and um, yeah, man, this is, the, this is the girl we're talking about. That's awesome. So, you know, you get so many people who reach out to you and they're like, Shiraz, manage me. We'd love for you to manage this your career. But what stood out about El Nas that you were like, I got to manage this girl? So first of all, uh, and this is for everyone who's watching, right? Because a lot, there's hundreds and hundreds of people that uh, are buying the masterclass, okay? Um, there are certain things that I look for, okay? Um, you've got to have the it. You know, you've got to have the X factor. You've got to have the hunger, the drive, the consistency. Um, and I see a lot of people only like uh, hands-on. I manage a very few people, um, mainly the bigger stars. Uh, but when I'm looking for kind of up-and-coming talent, I'm looking for um, X Factor, hunger, drive, international market. Can they sell products? Uh, can they engage with their audience? Are their audience real? Are they engaging when she speaks? Are, are, are people kind of kind of interacting? You know? Yeah. Uh, and when I saw her, I was like, okay, you know what? First of all, I love the international market, you know, and I like to do things that are different. Uh, what are the two areas that, uh, when she did the Fame by Shiraz Masterclass, what was her two X factors? Um, one was being one of the best makeup artists okay. in the Middle East, number one. Makeup okay, artists. hands down, she's yeah. huge, right? Uh, number two, one of the biggest models from Iran, mm -hmm. okay? Now, I have a huge uh, audience uh, market uh, from Iran. Yeah. Um, it's a massive, massive market, and I don't know if you're aware, but all other, and this is for my international audience and domestic audience in America. In Iran, all social media platforms are banned. Whoa. It's like China, it's banned. Whoa. They don't exist. There is no YouTube, there is no Facebook, uh, there's no Twitter, there's no wow. Snapchat, nothing. It's all banned, okay? Um, the only one that's, that's barely there, right, through VPN and all that kind of stuff, is Instagram, mm. okay? So you've got, you know, but it's 80, 70, 80 million population in that, in that country. Right, right. right. Huge, okay, market where you have all the younger generation, all the younger people uh, that, are, that have no other access to social media outside of that. And I'm giving some more statistics. Uh, Saudi Arabia, okay, the number one watch consumption in the world for YouTube is yeah. Saudi Arabia. Wow. Saudi Arabia. Really? The most eyeballs watching <laughs> is in Saudi Arabia. So, I want all of you guys to be thinking internationally today. Think domestically, think, think America, think international, think global. Now, Iran, why Iran? First of all, you have got so many beautiful people in the country of Iran, right? Yeah. And I don't know if you're aware of this, and you guys probably here in the US are gonna be shocked about this one. If you're a model or if you're a girl yeah. and you are not covering your hair in Iran, okay? And you get caught by the police, and I'm talking about just you know, you're dressed, right. but your hair is not in a scarf. Right, right. You go to jail. You serious? You go to jail. So you've got some of the most beautiful women in the world living in Iran, beautiful souls, amazing people, okay, guys and girls, um, and they're living in fear every day that they want to have a dream, but if they're seen without a headscarf, you go to jail. Mm. Okay, so having known that fact, and you have all these people that are dying for a dream, Yeah. I, for me, what's exciting about working with Anaz is I want to break that barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me, I'm all, all about disruption. I want to yeah. do stuff that makes the news, you know? So for me, when I saw what she was doing, uh, and she'd done the masterclass, she did it, um, and, and uh, she did it literally in a day. She, she did the masterclass in a day. Wow. Uh, she lives in Dubai. Um, she's coming out to LA uh, soon. And um, she basically said to me, um, I'm ready. I'm ready for the mainstream, you know? I said, okay. Um, given the fact you're Iranian, you've got a huge platform already, massive makeup artist, 
Um, she's all, oh, I'm also going to be doing a collab with her, by the way. I'll talk about this afterwards. Uh, she's doing a masterclass already in Dubai, and I'm going to collab with her for the U.S. market. I want to hear all about. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. You know, so we we'll talk about that afterwards. Yeah. But uh, what, what were the reasons? Reasons were X Factor. You know, she's 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 got the look. She's got the appeal. Uh, she's got an audience. Yeah. Even though the audience is not an American audience, that we can build, right? right. Her audience is is Middle Eastern, strong, strong Middle East audience. And when she uh, uh, says something, people buy. When she goes to do a meet and greet, people show up. When she creates a reaction, she done one music video. Yeah. Let me tell you, she done this one music video, and it turned the damn country upside down. No way. Yeah, everybody, all the lovers and the haters, man. Yeah. She yeah. poked. Yeah. Right. So she was already doing some some of the stuff. Um, so she did this music video, and it created such a reaction. And back then, I thought, okay. If someone can create, can create one music video and create a reaction like that and yeah. almost shake up her country, then this is the girl that I like. This is the kind of person that is on my radar. You know, you whenever uh, you see an influencer or a talent that's able to move a product, I know that gets you really, really excited. What was the product that she was able to move? What, what, did, what did she sell? What did she do so well? Cosmetics, up? right? I mean, cosmetic okay. brands. I mean, some of the biggest brands go to her because she has a loyal audience, she's extremely authentic. Yeah. Um, she, you know, but I know what I, I keep telling people this, you know, when you're doing, you're doing the Fame by Shiraz Masterclass, consistency, yeah, yeah. you know, you're doing makeup videos, you're doing tutorials, and she's on it. She's doing it, she's pushing it, and when someone comes from a authentic place and is consistent, yeah. people are gonna believe it, people are gonna buy it. I mean, look at the biggest brands. You also said she has a master class? Yeah, she done, uh, yeah, she done a master class uh, that was in Dubai in 2009, right before the, uh, the whole corona stuff, right? Right, right. Um, and it was completely sold out. Wow. You know, these are from uh, makeup professionals and people who wanted to get into the makeup business, um, and artists uh, flew in, from across the region mm. and it was completely sold out and, and and i want to do the same thing with her again she has a product right so that fits right into the fame by shiraz business model because i can now sell that masterclass all over the world the makeup one because i have so many people wanting that kind of thing you know so we know her x factor we know why you want to sign her what is your strategy for her though when she when you're trying to make her big in america so so right now i can tell you right now what i'm going to be doing and, and everyone will be watching this okay yeah. that's why i'm so confident i back up i back up with action yeah yeah so i want to go everyone has a limited belief that if you're iranian okay if you're persian mm -hmm. you can't make it in hollywood you can't make it or wow. people say oh my god don't say that i'm iranian in hollywood don't say i'm persian in hollywood Please just say I'm, I'm Jewish or I'm, I'm you know I'm, I'm from the UK right, or I'm, right, you know whatever you do don't say Iranian, okay? So everyone who advises those people, and this happened to me with Priyanka Chopra by the way. Yeah. Same with India. No one knew her over here. She was big in uh, Priyanka Chopra was very big in India. Right. But in Hollywood, no one knew who, who she was. Right, right, right. My first meeting with Priyanka Chopra. Let me tell you something, okay? I was sitting in the Four Seasons Hotel. Oh, you're talking about. Let's see here, 2020, you're talking about eight years ago. Okay, wow. eight years ago, we're sitting in the Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills with her manager, sitting down, having tea. As we walk in, and she has a billion people, one billion fans. You hear me? Yeah. One billion fans in India, one of the biggest, most sexiest Bollywood stars in the world. Right. Okay, and she comes to Beverly Hills and she wants to make it in Hollywood. Priyanka Chopra, okay? And, uh, not one person recognized her in the hotel. We walked into the Four Seasons Whoa. Hotel, not one person knew who she was. Wow. She was sitting there feeling so damn uncomfortable that I'm so big in my country, yet in LA, in Hollywood, no one gives a damn. Wow. Okay, that was Priyanka Chopra. Wow, yeah. Okay, and then we, we put the fame machine behind it. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you know, we'll show you case studies of that, and then we broke her and everything. Now, with Anaz, I can tell you what I want to do. First of all, all the brands that are watching me right now, start taking notice of this girl. All the talent that I work with, some of the biggest TikTok stars, YouTube stars, Instagram stars, think about collaborations, okay? Because if you want that Middle East market, they've got money. Mm -hmm. Middle East market have money. Okay, while everyone in America is about to go, <laughs> we're about to lose our shit next, <laughs> this week, brother, yeah. in the next 24 to 48 hours, there are uh, rich countries out there, yeah. brands out there that will pay and collab and do things for the US market. Yeah. So she can then benefit by collaborating with uh, US talent, um, and then the US talent can benefit um, by getting a Middle East market. Now, what right. am I going to do? My first move I'm going to do is um, if the Iranian 
it's against the norm for girls to not wear scarves. Okay? Um, and if any, and therefore all the majority of the, uh, and by the way, you want to tap in on this market. They are some of the most engaged audience on Instagram. Oh yeah. Like you have no idea. Yeah. I mean, you want to talk about gossipers? Oh, Persians are at another level, brother. <laughs> they, they sit there and gossip, man, and the comments go through the roof. Okay, that's your engagement, right? So I think, I think the Persians can give the Americans a run for their money when it comes to gossip. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. So we love gossip. Yeah. Okay, so that, 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 that we want. So what I'm going to do first is, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shock the country. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a Fame by Shiraz disruption guarantee that literally does something so shocking with her visually. You know, I'm going to do a magazine cover. I'm going to do something with her that is so against the law. Oh, wow. It breaks the rules. Wow. It, it goes against the entire system of what that country does. And I want to be the first one to do that for uh, an Iranian model mm -hmm. and claim it. Because the problem is, everyone wants to play the Iran card, but then they get scared. Oh my God, I, I, this is going to block my career. Oh, if I say I'm Persian, uh, I'm, I'm going to get blocked. That's why there's no famous Persians in Hollywood, bro. Yeah. That's why there's none. Because every single one gets scared. You know? And if you think, if you, and if you think about... Uh, Sorry, just one second. Wait, can I give you the address? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Great. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, so, so it, the reason why there are no famous Persians or Iranians in Hollywood. And by the way, this, you, you, what I'm teaching you right now, guys, you, 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 you've got to think of international. If someone's from India, someone's from the UK, someone's from Nigeria, someone's from Afghanistan, it doesn't matter. One second, Shura, I'm getting a lot of comments saying they can't hear you, that your audio just drops. Can you hear now? Audio now, can you hear me now? Can you hear it? You can hear me now, right? Yeah, the volume's up. Okay, sounds good now. Yeah, We're back. Good. Okay. We're back. All right. So what I was saying is that for me, what's extremely important uh, is, is I've got to break the mold. If everyone says that an Iranian cannot get US media, if an Iranian can't get a magazine cover, if an Iranian says it's not going to happen, that's why I'm so confident with Fame by Shiraz. I do things that no one else is going to do. Mm -hmm. Example, uh, I took Kim Kardashian to Kuwait. Right. Yeah, Kuwait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay? The entire government of Kuwait was trying to shut me down, bro. Everyone was trying to shut me down. You're not going to bring Kim Kardashian to Kuwait. Absolutely not. Her agents were telling me, no Kuwait. Her managers were telling me, no Kuwait. God damn it, Chris Jenner was uh, on my ass. We're not going to do <laughs> Kuwait. Why Kuwait? Think of yeah, any other country yeah, yeah. in the world, Shiraz. Why Kuwait? I said, because I want to break the mold. I want to do something completely different. Even though I had so much risk so much hate, right. so much drama, I did the activation in Kuwait. And it was one of the biggest international activations for her. Right. Okay? So the same with Al-Naz. I want to do something that's so shocking for the Iranian market that the girls get hope. Right. right People right. start getting hope because all it takes is one. If one person gets through and owns it and claims it, then uh, listen, uh, now, now you're making a difference because the problem that I find with, especially in the Middle Eastern community, when you're trying to become famous, you want to become mainstream, you try and hide that who you really are. Yes. Like, I'm a Muslim. I'm proud to be a Muslim. Yes. I'm so proud to be a Muslim. I wrote a book, by the way, um, I wrote this 10 years ago, um, called, uh, first of all, when I was coming to America, they said, Shiraz, call yourself Shiraz the American Dream. Right. Okay? And I'll never forget this. You know, I told them, no, I'm proud of my religion. I'm a Muslim. And I'm, I remember my lawyer saying, for Christ's sake, don't say the word Muslim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And that's what I did. I called it Shiraz, the Muslim American dream. And I didn't give a damn what they said to me, that the word Muslim is going to block every door for you in Hollywood. Right. Absolutely not. God opens every door for me. Okay? No human being has that power. My belief system is in God. And I ended up building HTV and all the big companies that we did. Oh, yeah. But Hollywood needs us. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So never fear. Uh, never ever feel or have a limiting belief about religion or about your belief system or any of that kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. So for Al Nas, it's important for me that uh, I, wanna, I wanna shake up that country. I wanna poke Iran, yeah. poke, and get those people who say that you need to go to jail for not wearing a headstock, get over it. What, what I'm about to do with this bombshell, <laughs> the Iranians yeah, yeah. are gonna wake up. Now, you also mentioned collaborations for, I mean, that's gonna be huge for breaking the US market, right? Yeah. So, so what I'll do is I'll uh, connect her with the uh, U.S. talent, so she can start doing uh, collaborations with the uh, U.S. Uh, social media talent. 
mm -hmm. right? That's going to be extremely important for her because she has the Middle Eastern market on lock, uh, but not the American market. So if she does that on both sides, then she, you know she wins both markets. So I'm going to do that both. I mean, she's very strong on YouTube and uh, on uh, on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to push her more on the TikTok side, so we can get some more uh, uh, interaction with the U.S. market. But for me, it's about shock. Yeah, yeah. I, I really want to um, create media, create stories that make her the first Iranian to break the mold. Yeah, part of your part of your real magic with Priyanka and your strategy with her when she came to America was your live activations. I mean, you you wrapped buses, you you did billboards, and the whole thing. When things open up, do you have plans to do big live activations with Elmas? Is she ready for live activations? Even if she's not ready, I'll make her ready, bro. Okay. <laughs> There's no okay. The, the, right now, the only thing that's saving everybody right now is obviously the corona. There's not much stuff on the meeting routes and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but later on, once it starts opening up, I mean, Dubai is my back. It's my second home. Right, right, So, right. of course, I'll do activations in Dubai. And then because there's a heavy Persian community in the U.S. market, that people, I'm telling you guys, if you're not tapped in on the Iranian market, these people are like Instagram junkies. Instagram junkies. There's nothing else going on. They are glued to their phone and they are loyal as hell. Okay, maybe they'll love you, maybe they'll hate you, but you know our belief system, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people that, you know, the people that build you, love you. The people that love you, build you. Always remember that. The people that love you, build you. The people that hate you, make you. Mm. And guess what? Those Persians are haters, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so if they're haters, they make you bigger, yeah, they make you yeah, stronger, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, I want to do a lot of poking and I want to do some stuff where uh, she works with a lot of US talent as well. Um, and by the way, if, uh, if, if anyone wants to do any makeup collaborations or any any things like that with El Nas, uh, I put her, her name, uh, I pinned her up okay, uh, yeah, on yeah, there yeah. right now. You know, so people can work with her as well. You know, because that, that's what I want to do. And another thing I'm, I'm going to do afterwards is she needs her own makeup product. Oh yeah. She definitely needs. When I look at her profile, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. own product, cosmetics line, lipsticks, gels, whatever, makeup, mascara, things like that. You yeah, know, for yeah, that yeah. for that market. You know, so so I want people to realize that you know there there the people like myself who work with big big celebrities and big brands, you know, you you sometimes you spot someone, you know, and you see something that's different. What was different in her life? Yeah, yeah. Is she beautiful? Yes, but there's a lot of beautiful people out there. Right. There's a lot of beautiful people out there, right? Does she have a great following? Yes. Are there people with bigger following? Yes. But what stood out for me was four letters. Mm. Iran. Those four letters, for me, it means I can create history. It means I can do something that's never been done before. It means I can take a challenge on that everyone says that there is no Iranian model that's kind of broken into the mainstream America. There is no Iranian model that's gone all out and right, claimed right, right. Iran. Not go and then get scared. Go and get scared. Go and get scared. Well, you're about to get a break. And then you have some damn psychic in your ear saying, don't do that. There we yeah, go, yeah, damn yeah. psychic. Derailed, okay? No, if you say you're gonna do it, you make it happen. You own it, you claim it, and, and you take Because guess what's going to happen? When you're the first, you're in everyone's hearts and minds for life. Yes. For life. You own that title. So for me, is I want to do some, some, some a lot of poking. A lot of poking with Al Nas, mainly for the, for the Iranian market, because I want to show the, 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 the people who make those stupid laws yeah. um, and, and, and the young girls out there that you can do it. And someone can, can claim the title of becoming the most beautiful, sexiest Iranian model on earth. Yeah. On earth. Yeah, I mean, I know she's got such great traction. Right? So if you can do that and you make it big, and then guess what you're doing? You're inspiring millions of other girls, bro, and guys. From giving them, uh, is the audio good? Because sometimes when the phone calls come in, it trips out, is it good? Hello, one, two, one, two. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, we're good, we're good. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, for, for what I was saying is, for me, it's, it's just super, super important to uh, open up the floodgates for the international market. Even some of our uh, people here, the, uh, Chris Fabregas, photography, this is a market, you know, this, these are the different international markets you want to tap in on. They're, just so you know, Beverly Hills, let me give you some statistics, okay? Beverly Hills, 80%, you hearing this? 80% of Beverly Hills speaks Farsi, wow. which means they're Iranian. Wow. 70 to 80% of people in Beverly Hills are Iranian 
and speak Farsi, which is the, the, the mother, mother tongue language, okay, Farsi. Mm -hmm. So if 70 to 80% of Beverly Hills is Iranian, okay, none of these people in Beverly Hills have made it as an Iranian in mainstream, right. none of them. By the way, when I say Iranian, Rodeo Drive, the landlords are Iranian. Yeah, yeah. Neither to the most expensive real estate oh, yeah. in Beverly Hills, in Bel Air, is all owned by Iranians. All owned by Iranians. That's how much power they have in Beverly Hills. But guess what Iranians don't have? Fame. Mm -hmm. They've got money, but no one knows who they are. No one has any idea who they are. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because every single Iranian is scared to say, I'm Iranian. Oh my God, I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, this is going to happen. Absolutely not. When, when, when you have zero fear, and, 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 and someone like me, I'm going to go full force and run towards the Iran flag. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No fear. <laughs> so if I'm going to run towards the Iran flag, and I'm saying, okay, this is a Fame by Shiraz masterclass graduate, I'm going to show a real case study that I can take this girl, okay, who's famous from Iran, mm -hmm. and how I'm going to get her into some, some crazy press, some crazy activations that we're going to do, right? Why? Because I'm going to take, that's my leading force, that's my X factor. Okay, because she has all the other, the, the other X factors, but Iran was, for me, was a selling point. Yeah. I want to do something that I can say then, that a, 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 a young uh, talent from the Middle East took fame by Shiraz Masterclass, she dazzled me when I spoke to her for a couple of hours on the phone. Yeah, yeah. This happened this weekend. And I said, okay, let's double down. Let's do this. Wow. Let's go. Why? Because I could see that she's got the hunger. She's willing to play ball. And I want to go there about the Iranian angle. And she's ready. I mean, she's like, ready. Not, ready. Not everyone's ready to be yeah. there. And she's sitting in Dubai. You see, wait till she yeah. gets to LA. Oh, you yeah. know, that's, that's even more. I, 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 I can go even more crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, have people reached out to you about her in like the last 48 hours? Like since Let me tell you something, man. I love Persians, bro. They're blowing up my damn phone. <laughs> <laughs> she put a story out and my numbers went times 50. Oh, wow. Yeah, I swear to God. Wow. Yeah, th these are uh, for all of my lovely Persians who are watching, man. I love you, man. Keep up the gossip because the gossip means engagement. So the numbers are definitely going through the roof. They're definitely uh, uh, a very engaged audience. Very, very engaged audience. And, and what I want to do is uh, do a couple things now I'm working on right now with the, to do some photo shoots or whatever in Dubai. I want to get some shocking photos. I want to poke those, those lawmakers who say, if you yeah, don't have a scarf, yeah. you go to jail. Man, these guys need to move to Mars, bro. Yeah. What fucking land are they living in? Yeah. Today we're in 2020 and you, you, come on, it's too much, yeah. right? Um, so I want to go and push the edge and, uh, and claim the first Iranian model. And, and she has to say it. She has to do it. You've got to keep, you can't, you can't be scared. You yeah. cannot be scared. You can't go this far and then stop. Yes. Ain't going to happen. If you do that, someone else is going to take that title. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So for me, what I was excited about today, and you'll see her on my Instagram. If you go into my main feed, uh, you should check her out. Um, and it'll also give you an idea of what kind of people I'm looking for to work with. Because number one, international market, professional makeup artist, already has a masterclass, great engaged audience, needs a different, uh, a bigger market in the, in the mainstream, mm -hmm. right? So she had a lot of the things, but she didn't have the, the kind of US or the kind of um, fame in yes. the mainstream, yes, right? Yes. In her market, yes. You know, yes. in Iran, everybody knows her. You know, she's very, very famous there, you know? But imagine if she does stuff in Hollywood, if she's doing stuff in the mainstream, magazine covers. And I'm not talking a magazine cover with a head cut scarf, bro. I'm gonna make her look sexy as hell. Wow, 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 I, wow. You have no idea. I wanna shock the Iranian people. Yeah. That's what I wanna do. If you're gonna claim the title of, I'm gonna become the first Iranian to make a difference and, and go with that title all the way, then I'm ready to put my machine behind it, absolutely. That, that's so exciting. We do have to wrap up in yes. just about a minute or two. Yeah. Uh, but you, you know, you've gotten the people in your, your chat like super excited about collaborating with her and stuff like that. In your masterclass, you talked about how when you want to close a deal, you got to find out what that person's want is. Mm -hmm. Seems like your want is to do something that has never been done before. Absolutely. And she touched on it. Is that safe to say? That's how she closed you? By so so she, the reason how she got to me was... Um, first of all, I told you she's Iranian. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. And if I can become the first person ever yeah. to make an Iranian model famous in Hollywood, and I'm the one that does it, yeah. then bro, fame by Shiraz masterclass, 
done deal, bro. What's your Think advice to, to all yeah. the people in the staff in the, in the chat right now who would love to be like El Nas and, and, and you know? But you got to you got to have X Factor, man. You got to you got to you got to yeah. show me this girl can move product. You know, let's let's show her feed. Film that. Uh, let's just go to her feed right now. Like this is a Okay. This is uh, zoom up to her name first. I already pinned her. Okay. Let me put hold on a second. Back to my song. Okay. Okay, this will be okay, right? The page song. Okay, just look at the quality of content. Look at this. Look at that content. Clean content. Clean. Clean. There's my boy Hamid. <laughs> Clean, clean, clean. I love it. Right? I mean, that is a really fantastic theme. Right? Professional makeup artist, model, Persian, Iranian, engaged audience, you know? That's fantastic. Well, big congrats to El Nas. Right? So, so, for people out there, I'm looking for this kind of stuff, you know? Um, and even if, you know, even if she wasn't verified, Let's say she wasn't verified. Mm -hmm. Let's say she didn't have that many followers. But what was my, what was my motivation was Iranian. Mm -hmm. I would have still built her up to that. I would have helped her get verified. I would have got more followers, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. got more engagement, more press and all that we would do. But what's, what's exciting for me is Iranian. That to me was, is it lit me on fire. So uh, today's main thing really I wanted to tell people that this is, this is someone who took the Fame by Shiraz masterclass, studied it, studied it twice reached out to me, I done my first call with her, then I did another call with her, and I said, you know, what, what, give me some other ideas that you wanted to do, and she hit all the points. Wanted to sell makeup, that makes money. Uh, she wants to put her masterclass under the Fame Masterclass, right, so she's, she's selling, helping me with the Fame by Shiraz Masterclass to the Iranian market. Right, right, right. Opens up a, a massive market. Adding value. For, huge, yeah. okay, what is she doing with me? She's adding value. She's now taking my masterclass, uh, Fame by Shiraz Masterclass, and opening up that entire door for the Iranian and Persian community. And mm -hmm. don't forget, 70 to 80% of Beverly Hills, where we live in, yeah. are Iranian, yeah. okay? So that's a huge win for me, right? And then she wants the American market. It's a huge win for her. So there was, there was a lot of synergies there. Yeah. And what was really motivating for me was, how can we make her, you know, the first Iranian? You gotta you got, you got go there. And I asked, and I asked her a question. Yeah. I said, are you willing to make this statement are you willing to say that you're the first Iranian? Are you willing to do it without stopping and giving up? And she said, I'm ready. I said, okay, if you're ready and you don't get scared halfway through, yeah, yeah. and if people could just hate on you, people can shut doors on you, but if you have that inner belief yourself, that I'm gonna be the one with Fame by Shiraz, we're gonna do this as the first Iranian model, we're gonna yeah. do photo shoots, we're gonna do magazine, we're gonna make statements, right? And if, and if, and, and if I'm willing to do this, then without any fear, then I said, let's do it. Yeah, so exactly, today man. I wanted to show people that, you know, I do open, if, if I see something that's the X factor, uh, right now I'm gonna open up to, to my network. She's not make money tomorrow in Dubai as well, because I've got all the brands and everything in the Middle yeah, East. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's first is important is um, uh, for, for the people who are watching Fame by Shiraz Masterclass, look at the, the added values that people can bring to the table. If you bring added values, then, you know, collaborations can happen, we, you can work with us, I'll open up other doors for you as well. We've got a huge network that we have here, you know? If I can't do something, someone else will do it for you. So I'm, I'm trying to build this community, build international markets, and the move I just made this weekend is a historical move. It's one of those chess moves, bro, yeah. that it's, it's, it's never been done before, never. Where someone is gonna claim that they are the most beautiful Iranian in the world, model, right here in Hollywood. Right in magazines, right wow. on billboards. I mean, you know me, I gotta, we can click buttons yeah, to make yeah, it happen, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's today's live. Um, I want all of you to please follow El Nas. Um, she's a part of the Fame by Shiraz family now. We wanna do things, we wanna big things. Anything in the Persian market, Iranian command. Remember one thing I told you 70 to 80% of Beverly Hills is Iranian. So if 70 to 80% of Beverly Hills is Iranian, guys, you need to network with that market. It's an important market. I wouldn't be stamping myself in this market if I, if I didn't see something. You know, I always go for trends that, that no one's done. I always look at things that have never been done before. So, and I'm also gonna bring Al Nas on to our live. Great. Yeah, let's bring him on to our live as well next time. 
But uh, that's what I have today. We're going to wrap up. Yep. We'll see you tomorrow. Big shout out to Al Naz, to Hamid. Thank you very much. A lot of big things coming soon. Um, and inshallah, God willing, let's make her the first Iranian man. Let's get her to create some news. Let's create some drama. Disruption guaranteed as always. Fame by Shiraz. You can zoom out today. All right.